So, for those of you who missed Zoom or could not make it, for whatever reason, we are going to draw the cat in the hat today. So, you need a pencil, you need eraser, you need your paper, you need your colors. Oh, I just made my camera. Your colors. So, first thing we're going to do, paper goes the tall way. Tall way. Fold it in half top to bottom. Gives us that short, fat rectangle. Fold in half side to side. Gives us that tall skinny rectangle. Open it up. Now, as always, because this is a video, you can pause me whenever you need to. So feel free to pause me if you need to. Okay, we are going to start with an oval shape right here. It will touch our center fold. It will touch to the bottom. So, draw me an oval. We're going to do his eyeballs first. And then I want you to go over. You're going to draw me another eyeball. Inside, you're going to draw me a circle on both sides. Our next line is going to come down and over. So, down from the left eyeball, over from the left eyeball, and we're going to draw a slight diagonal line. This is going to be the corner of his mouth. The next line is going to be the hardest line we draw. So we're going to start here. We're going to come around, scoop in right here at our middle fold, and then come up above his eyeball. This is going to make his mouth. Then in the middle here, let's go ahead and draw his nose. Give him that oval nose. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to draw this side of his head. And it's going to be a straight line that's going to curve over and come down. So you can come up about that high. You don't have to quite go that high. You're going to come straight down, curve under his mouth, and then curve down along that middle fold before you get to the middle fold. His mouth, the other part of it, and his neck. We're going to start here on our smile line. We're going to come over and then curve it down. So we're about halfway done now. You've done the hard part. Next, we're going to come up here. We're going to draw his ear. His ear is going to be a leaf shape. So, you know, that's a bad leaf shape. Sorry, guys. There we go. Now it's a little better. Inside, you're going to draw the same thing, a little smaller. Next, we're going to draw the bottom of his hat. So you're going to start here on the left, we're going to curve up to his ear, we're going to jump over his ear, end up over here on the right. So starting here, I hit his ear, I jump over his ear, and I come over and I curve to the right. Now, if your headline does not touch that line, go ahead and extend it just a little bit. We're going to draw the second part of his hat now, which is going to be the same type of line we just drew. So starting here, you're going to curve over, you're going to touch his ear, you're going to jump over his ear. Curve over and around. We're going to connect our top and bottom of our hat with a little curve at the left and a little curve at the right. And I'm going to erase my overdraw that went into his hat. Next, we're going to draw his actual top part of his hat. So you're going to come over to the left side of his head. So his head is right here, so I'm going to come over just a little bit. I'm going to draw straight up and curve it at the top. I'm going to come over here to the right side and I'm going to do the same thing straight up and I'm going to curve it. Now the cat in the hat's hat has stripes. So I'm going to go ahead and draw some stripes. You can draw as many stripes as you want or as few stripes as you want. I usually end up with about three or four because then I run out of paper. The last part of his hat that we're going to do right now is this part right here. We're going to start here at the end of our line. We're just going to draw straight to his head. And what that does is it makes it look a little bit more three-dimensional on his head. Okay, we're going to make our cat hairy next. So to do that, we're going to start here where our hat and our cat connect. And I'm going to come out and go in and make a triangle. And I'm going to do this four times. So there's one out and in for two. Out and in for three. Out and in for four. And now I'm going to erase that vertical line that I drew to make the side of his head. Okay. 
Now, if I want to make his hat look a little bit more three-dimensional on this side, I do the same thing that I did here. I go from the end of the hat and just draw a line into his head. And that's it. Okay, next we're going to draw his bow. So down here, depending on how much room you have, depends on what you're going to be able to draw. We don't want his bow to be way up here. We want to bring it down. So I'm going to bring mine down. I'm going to start with kind of a circle oval shape right here. From that circle oval shape, I'm going to come out, come down, and back to my center. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Over, down, and back to center. Now, if I had room down here, I would take and I would draw straight down, and I would turn this into a rectangle. But to do that, I would have to draw on my table, and that would not be a good thing. We're going to draw some details on our bow to make it look a little bit more realistic. First one, we're going to draw a straight line down, make it look like there's kind of a ripple in his bottom part. Next, we're going to come here to the middle of the right side, and we're going to curve out and down. And we're going to do the same thing to the left, out and down. And then, so it makes it look like he's not a floating head right now, we're going to draw just two little curved lines coming down out of our bow. And this is going to be his body that is hidden behind that bow. Now, if you overdrew like I did, you can go ahead and erase those inside parts on his bow. And there you have our cat in the hat. Now, if you want to color him like the cat in the hat, his hat is red and white stripes, starting with a red brim. He himself is either a gray or a black, depending on what book you're actually looking in. So I colored mine gray with some black edging around the hat, or around his feathers, feathering on his head, which is what fur is called sometimes. And then I colored his bow red. Now, do you have to do that on yours? No, you can color yours however you would like. I would love it if you shared a picture with me. So, and when you are finished, you can either email me a picture, you can take a picture and send it to me as a message in Dojo, or you can also post it in our art show off spot in Teams. I would love to see how yours turn out. Okay, I will see you guys in Zoom next time. Bye!